Welcome back to Daily Reddit Stories, let's start to story. AI Tay for expecting intimacy on date night with my wife. My wife and I have always had what I thought was a great relationship. We've been married for years and have three kids and every month, I make it a point to plan a special date night just for us. I handle all the logistics, dinner reservations, babysitting, everything, so that all she has to do is show up and enjoy the evening. It's my way of ensuring we stay connected despite the craziness of life with kids. So, earlier this month, I planned another one of these date nights. We had a fantastic dinner, just the two of us and everything seemed perfect. Afterward we decided to meet up with a couple we're friends with, but the wife was tired and decided to call it a night. So it ended up just being the three of us, me, my wife and our friend Rick. My wife was enjoying herself and didn't want the night to end. She invited Rick over to our place for another drink. I was okay with that, but I mentioned that I hoped to be in bed by 1, 0 a.m., since I handle the morning shift with our kids, and they wake up early. She promised we'd be in bed by then. Rick comes over, we open a bottle of wine, put on some music, and we're all having a good time. But as 1, 0 a.m. rolls around, Rick gets up to leave, and my wife stops him. She's vibing and tells us we can't leave just yet. I stick around for another 10 minutes, but I'm getting tired, so I call it a night. I tell my wife I'm heading to bed, and she says she'll be up in another 10 minutes. Well, that didn't happen. Instead, she comes into our bedroom at 3, 0 a.m. drunk and making a lot of noise waking me up. Now, I'm wide awake, if that happens, it usually takes me a while to fall asleep. So, since I'm up, I try to initiate sex with my wife, but she declines, saying she's too tired. I don't pressure her, but I'm still frustrated that I got woken up, frustrated that our night didn't end as I'd hoped. My first mistake was sending her a text while she was asleep, saying that her actions that evening were hurtful, and that it felt like I had planned this lovely evening only for her to end it with someone else, though I was 100% sure nothing inappropriate happened. The following day she came downstairs, apologetic, but I made the mistake of telling her that her actions made me not want to plan these extravagant date nights anymore. I mentioned how she broke her promise about going to bed at a reasonable hour and ruined my sleep, this wasn't the first time something like this happened on a date night. And then, I made what might have been my biggest mistake, I added that this was at least the fourth date night in a row where we didn't have sex and that, in my mind, a good date night ends in sex. I also told her this one was particularly offensive, because it felt like she abandoned me at night's end. She was distraught by my comments. She said they made her feel like I only appreciated her for sex, and that date nights should be about having fun and enjoying each other's company. She even said I should assume we won't have sex on date nights. Honestly, I get her perspective, enjoying each other's company is essential. But I also don't think feeling slightly let down after planning a romantic evening is unreasonable, especially since it has become a pattern. I didn't expect sex every time, but four times in a row. And that night, she chose to do something else rather than be with me. So, Reddit, am I the asshole for feeling this way? Well, things took an unexpected turn after I posted about my frustrations. A lot of people suggested that my wife might be having an affair with Rick and that I was blind to her. I defended both my wife and Rick, saying there was no way. But Reddit was right. One day, I was unpacking the car, and my wife had left her phone there. When I picked it up, a text from Rick flashed across the screen. He was saying how he wanted to kiss her and asking her to tell me she needed a night out so they could go to the bar together. I know it's an invasion of privacy, but we know each other's passcodes, so I opened her phone and checked the text chain. What I found wasn't good. She had been deleting his messages, but they were still in the deleted messages folder. They'd been going on dates during the day when I was at work, and he had sent her some very suggestive texts. I confronted my wife, and she admitted to having an emotional affair. She claimed it wasn't physical, except for one kiss, and that she was dealing with severe depression so it was nice to have someone to talk to who wasn't me. She said she still loved me, and that getting attention from someone else was just flattering. I'm unsure if I believe her but she's telling the truth. She argued that it wasn't a big deal since nothing physical happened outside of that one kiss, and to her credit, the suggestive texts all came from him. We had a heart-to-heart -heart two days after I found out about the affair, 
and surprisingly, we're in a perfect place now. She apologized profusely, and her timeline of events wasn't as bad as I feared. It was consistent with what Rick told me when I interrogated him and what my wife's sister, who views me like a brother, told me. My wife's sister had warned her months ago that Rick might have feelings for her, but my wife was convinced they were just good friends. As it turns out, Rick and his wife have been going through marital issues for quite some time, and things went downhill for him about six months ago. He started talking to my wife almost like she was his therapist, and it gradually increased from there. After the infamous date night, my wife admitted that she realized he might have feelings for her, but she didn't want to blow up our friend group by telling me. Fast forward to about a month ago, and things worsened. Rick's marriage seemed to be falling apart, and my wife went into a depressive period. During this time they started talking even more, and Rick began saying inappropriate things like, you're the most beautiful woman I know, and you're gorgeous. He also started sending suggestive texts when he was drunk. My wife admitted she should have shut things down, but she didn't because she didn't want to blow up our friend group, and she enjoyed the attention even though she had no interest in him. She said she tried to steer their interactions to public settings to avoid anything shady, but it still hurts that she didn't tell me sooner. But we're working on it. We're doing couples therapy, and she started working part-time to keep herself busy. We've gone no contact with Rick, except for one instance where he called her in the middle of a game night, threatening to kill himself. I allowed her to talk to him that night, but we've since cut him off completely. Rick approached me at said event and said that he was on the verge of telling everyone about the affair because he wanted to burn everything down, my wife and I were able to convince him not to do so. Learning that Rick had asked my wife to leave me, she said no, and he had told her he would wait however long she needed, even 15 years so they could be together. Rick becoming obsessed with my wife's sister, who is very similar to my wife. They now go out for drinks several times a week and talk daily. My wife is convinced he is now in love with her. Awkwardly, my sister-in-law is separated, but still lives with a soon-to-be ex-husband. Rick is still married, but divorce is seemingly imminent. However, my wife and I have been doing very well in all this chaos. The shock of the affair forced us to work through our issues, and we now communicate about as well as one could hope for, and have solved most of the problems that led her to look outside our marriage for emotional support. I'd love to be able to go back in time and prevent the affair, and I don't know if I'll trust anyone fully anymore, but in many ways, it improved our relationship, which is a very strange thing to say. Thank you for listening to today's story. Have a nice day.